Malaysian Air Force was formed on June 2, 1958 as the Royal Federation of Malaya Air Force. On September 16, 1963, Air Force was named Tentera Udara Daraja Malaysia, the Royal Malaysian Air Force RMAF. RMAF operates 18 Su-30 MKM, 13 Bay Hawk and 8 FA-18 fighter aircrafts. It's a unique mix of American, European and Russian-made aircraft. RMAF launched MRCA replacement program to replace the 16 MiG-29 and 14 F-5 fighters which were retired by the end of 2015. In the late 2015, it was rumored that Malaysia might purchase the Sino-Pakistani JF-17 Thunder, but the report was denied by Malaysian Defense Minister and said they were still evaluating. In late 2017 RMAF reportedly started its light combat aircraft fighter lead in trainer LCA flip competition. The LCA flip requirement calls for up to 36 aircraft with an option for another 26 to replace the RMAF's aging bay systems Hawk and Aeromaki MB339 trainers and its McCoyan MiG-29 fighters. Pakistan Aeronautical Complex, Pak Aviation Industry Corporation of China, ABIC, JF-17 Thunder is the top contender for this competition. The RMAF is seeking a multi-mission platform capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface operations, ground and sea, as well as advanced jet training. It must also be a cost-effective platform and JF-17 Block 3D perfectly fits the requirements. JF-17 is an excellent option for Malaysian Air Force. The Pak JF-17 Thunder, or Pak FC-1 Shaolong Fierce Dragon, is a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft developed jointly by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex Pak, and the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation Pak, of China. It was designed to replace the A-5C, F-7P PG, Mirage 3, and Mirage B combat aircraft in the Pakistan Air Force. JF-17 can perform air supremacy, interception, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike missions and aerial reconnaissance. Its designation, JF-17, by Pakistan is short for Joint Fighter 17, while the designation and name, FC-1 Shaolong, by China means, Fighter China 1 Fierce Dragon. Malaysia had started the process of looking for a new multi-role fighter in late 2017, though its efforts at that time had also included medium-weight platforms, such as the MiG-35 and Eurofighter Typhoon. Having secured orders in Myanmar and Nigeria in 2015 and 2016, respectively, PAC is interested in getting orders from Malaysia and Azerbaijan. In year 2019, Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamed was invited as a guest of honor in Pakistan, where he was on a state visit. Mahathir sat next to Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan and watched Islamabad's Pakistan Day celebrations. The day, meant to commemorate the passage of the Lahore Resolution of March 23, 1940, normally features a lavish military parade. This year, Mahathir was treated to an acrobatic performance by a group of JF-17 Thunder multi-role fighters. The aircraft is assembled in Pakistan and was developed jointly by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex, Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, pak -CAC. That performance was a sales pitch. Malaysia is, along with Azerbaijan, one of two countries seriously considering the joint Sino-Pakistani JF-17 fighter for procurement. Apart from Pakistan, Myanmar operates the aircraft. Nigeria is set to procure a free fighter as well. Kuala Lumpur is strapped for cash as it seeks to upgrade its air force and the JF-17, a strong performer with a relatively low unit price, fits the bill. It has been seriously considering the aircraft for at least one year now. JF-17 participated in the Longkawi International Maritime Aerospace Expo, Lima 2019. There, the Royal Malaysian Air Force evaluated JF-17. It appears to be the lead contender for the Malaysian contract, given the aircraft's strong industrial backing in Pakistan. Malaysia is reportedly being offered the more advanced Block 3 variant of the JF-17, which features an active electronically scanned array EASA radar, better countermeasures, and a helmet-mounted display system. 
The main holdup for Malaysia with the JF-17 is the fighter's use of the Russian-designed, Chinese-license-built Road 93 engine, which will prove difficult to service. Kuala Lumpur's existing fleet of MiG-29 fighters use this engine. The Pak JF-17 Thunder is a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft developed jointly by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation of China. JF-17 can be used for multiple roles, including interception, ground attack, anti-ship, and aerial reconnaissance. JF-17 is an evolution that started from Project Sabre 2 or Project Super 7. Technically both projects were meant to upgrade the Chinese J-7 Taylor to meet PAF's requirements but when we see the evolved JF-17 of today it is way more sophisticated and advanced to the latter. The foundational work of modern JF-17 started in the late 1990s. The airframe design was freeze in 2001 due to lack of R&D funds however the first prototype took to air in 2003. A total of six prototypes were made after production started. As of 2020 PAF has 120 plus operational units in service. There are two blocks, Block 1 and Block 2, and the work on Block 3 is in progress which is near to its completion. Block 2 also has a dual seat barrier. JF-17 Block 3 will be introduced with more advanced weapon systems including PL-1 to 15 long-range BBR missiles. Malaysia is not the only state that has shown interest in Pakistani JF-17. Iran, Azerbaijan, Zimbabwe, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Egypt, Lebanon, Argentina, Morocco, Nigeria, Sri Lanka, Algeria and Sudan also want to buy them. Developed jointly by Pakistan and China, the JF-17 meets all modern requirements and is able to form the basis of a modern and powerful air force. JF-17 Block 2 Thunders are equipped with KLJ-7A, radar and Block 3 will be equipped with active electronic synthetic array AESA radars. The first chief project director of JF-17 former Air Marshal retired Shahid Latif once mentioned that JF-17 have the capability to be upgraded 4.5 generation jets. JF-17's Block 2 are as capable as Rafale, F-16, Saab JAS-39 Gripen or Su-30. The JF-17 aircraft had been produced as an affordable and modern replacement to French-made Mirage 3 and F-7 interceptors. Pakistan had long been trying to find countries to buy the JF-17 in order to reduce the per-unit cost the Pakistan Air Force pays. The lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat jet, jointly developed by Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, sells at an attractive price point, with a unit cost of just around $15 to $25 million. The JF-17 can deploy diverse ordnance, including air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, and a 23mm GSH-23-2 twin barrel autocannon. Powered by Klimov Road 93 afterburning turbofan, it has a top speed of Mach 1.6. The JF-17 is to become the backbone of the Pakistan Air Force (PAF), complementing the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon at half the cost. The PAF inducted its first JF-17 squadron in February 2010. In 2015 Pakistan produced 16 JF-17s. As of 2016, Pakistan is believed to have the capacity to produce 25 JF-17 per year. 58% of the airframe is Pakistani and 42% Chinese-Russian origin. As of December 2016, Pakistan Aeronautical Complex has manufactured 70 jets in the country for use by the Pakistan Air Force of the Block 1 type and 50 jets of the Block 2 type. In February 2019, the battle-hardened JF-17 of Pakistan Air Force shot down two Indian planes. JF-17 played a vital role during this mission. JF-17 Strike Force of PAF which targeted six different points inside Indian-occupied Kashmir. It displayed an excellent stand of range and jamming capabilities. After PAF's retaliatory strikes to punish Indian misadventures, JF-17 served on the front line on combat air patrol missions. Pakistan Air Force managed to destroy a MiG-21 bison in aerial combat, capturing Indian Air Force pilot Imanand Burton, who was handed over to India on March 1, 2019.
Another Indian front line, so-called best jet the Su-30 MKIs was also shot down by Pakistani JF-17. PAF JF-17 is a front line, reliable and lethal assets since its induction in 2010. The Pakistan Air Force already inducted twin-seater version known as the JF-17B for both enhanced operational capability and training. Preparations for a more advanced and technologically sophisticated Block 3 version of the aircraft are underway and the AESA radar, KJ-7A, has been developed, which can track 15 targets and engage 4 targets simultaneously. JF-17 Block 3 will be a single-seat variant. It will feature further avionics advancements such as helmet-mounted display and sight HMDS system, a new single-panel multi-functional display MFD, an active electronically scanned array AESA radar paired with an infrared search and track IRST system, and a cockpit with a flight control stick on the side, an NRIE TKLJ 7A AESA radar, more use of composites, a new engine, and a two-seater cockpit option with a top speed of 2.0 plus mom. Pakistani Air Force officials have described it as a fourth generation plus fighter jet. According to unconfirmed media reports, the induction is expected to start around 2021. Serial production of the JF-17 Block 3 began at the end of 2020. This version has, among other things, an air refueling system and a perfect radar. In particular, the Block 3 modification is equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar system, which gives the aircraft the ability to detect targets at long range, including against the background of the Earth. In addition to the radar, the aircraft is equipped with several color displays in the cockpit and a helmet-mounted sight, which greatly facilitates piloting and air combat. The AESA radar system, with an active phased array antenna, KLJ-7A manufactured by the China Electronics Technology Group Corporation CETGC. The CETGC claims the KLJ-7A has similar characteristics to the radar used in the American 5th generation F-35 fighters. In particular, with the help of the new radar, the JF-17 will be able to detect targets at a distance of up to 170 kilometers and will have a combat advantage over the F-16C and F-15C base versions not equipped with the FAR radars. Tracking 15 air targets simultaneously and simultaneously, capturing four targets puts the JF-17 Block 3 higher in capabilities than the Russian Su-30 MKI, Su-35S, MiG-35 as well as the French Rafale. The aircraft has high maneuverability, has a modern new generation engine with increased thrust, carries almost four tons of combat load. It can carry short and medium-range air-to-air missiles, bombs, anti-ship and anti-radar missiles, and outboard fuel tanks. There is a built-in 23mm double-barreled cannon. Malaysia has shown interest in JF-17 Thunder. JF-17 Thunder can provide VVR capability. Moreover, JF-17 Thunder is a complete package multi-role fighter jet which can carry following armaments. JF-17 Thunder is a complete package for Royal Malaysian Air Force. Air-to-air -air configuration. PL-15 VLRB VRM will be integrated with Block 3, effective range equals 200 to 250 km. PL-12 SD-10 VRM, effective range equals 100 plus km. PL-10 WVRM will be integrated with Block 3. PL-5 EII WVRM. Air to ground configuration. Various unguided bombs. Guided bombs including LGBs, PGBs and standoff weapons. Anti-radiation missiles LD-10 and MAR-1. Anti-ship configuration. C-802AK. CM-400AKG. Moreover JF-17 Thunder comes with state-of-the-art KLJ-7B2 radar, TIL Block 2, and KLJ-7A AESA radar for Block 3. Thunder can also carry various types of targeting, reconnaissance as well as jamming pods. Various countries including Algeria, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Bulgaria, Bangladesh, Iraq, Egypt, Iran, Lebanon, Argentina, Morocco, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Albania, Sudan, 
Jordan, Peru, Venezuela, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, South Africa and Uruguay have shown interest in the JF-17 Block 3. The Royal Malaysian Air Forces will inshallah purchase around 60 JF-17 Block 3 from Pakistan. Thank you for watching the Daily Thunders, latest news about JF-17. If you want you can subscribe and like the video. For feedback please leave your comments. For more videos about JF-17 Thunder please click the bell icon. Appreciate your support, stay safe and keep watching the Daily Thunders.